This summer we traveled out to Fredericton, New Brunswick to visit family. With a few weeks in town, we decided to make a little video guide to give you a taste of Atlantic Canada. Here's a look at 21 things you can do around the city. The changing of the guard is a ceremony not to be missed. You can watch guards reenact a drill ceremony to the beat of a piper and drummer. For a spooky look at the city's past, you can join a haunted hike that takes you on a walking tour of Fredericton after dark. Expect to meet lots of ghostly characters along the way. Thy chill is in my bones. The moonlight on the stones is pale. Stories for you. They both got a sad ending, but one's got a wedding in it, so which one would you like to hear first? The best way to experience the St. John River is by going out on the water. If you drop by Second Nature Outdoors, you can rent kayaks, canoes, and stand-up paddle boards. Or smooth sailing! Or smooth kayaking. This is the official residence of the Lieutenant Governor of New Brunswick, and it's where foreign dignitaries visiting Fredericton stay. visiting the King's Landing, a 19th century historical village located just outside of Fredericton. And it's going to be a lot of fun because as we walk through this village, we are going to encounter characters from that time period. We do not believe in the demon rum. We sure don't. And lips that touch liquor shall never touch mine. And we are members of the sun. Now don't be afraid, come closer. This for your motto and succor divine, the lips that touch liquor shall never touch mine. Okay. Visiting King's Landing was like traveling back in time. We got to see the interior of old homes, churches, and barns from the 1800s. And for those looking to get their hands dirty, there was also the option of pitching in with some of the farm work. This former railway bridge is now popular with pedestrians. It has great views of the St. John River and the two university campuses that sit up on the hill. Waterloo Row is one of the prettiest streets in the city. It is lined with historic homes and mansions that look over the river. bright and early this morning to come and visit the Fredericton Farmers Market. It takes place every Saturday from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. and it's just a really fun place to come, taste some international food, buy some fresh produce and just meet up with friends. If you happen to be in town over the weekend, be sure to check out the Farmers Market for some delicious eats. City of Fredericton. It doesn't take long for you to get to the trail system. Once you're on the trail system, you can ride for hours. The Nashwalk Trail is part of an extensive trail system and it's great for either walking or biking. We managed to spot quite a bit of wildlife during our outing, including a great blue heron, a beaver, and lots of chipmunks. Music 
Odell Park is a massive park located in the middle of Fredericton. It has many trails that run through the forest and some of the trees there are believed to be over 400 years old. It's a nice green escape and a perfect place to exercise in the summer. Welcome to the Highland Games. The New Brunswick Highland Games are an annual summer event held in Fredericton. To kick off the day, we got to listen to drumming and bagpipes. The caber toss is one of the most impressive events. Contestants must toss and flip a log that is 20 feet in length and weighs up to 120 pounds. We also got to watch Highland dancing competitions. We then attended the Weight for Height event, where athletes toss a weight over a pole vault bar. The bar kept getting raised, increasing the level of difficulty. The Ancient Hammer Toss was another impressive event. Contestants had to throw a metal ball fastened to a wooden handle as far as they could. The Garrison District is the historic and cultural heart of Fredericton. This is where you can catch free performances, join heritage walking tours, and watch the changing of the guard. Christchurch Cathedral has a very active music schedule. During the summer months, they host choirs and recitals. Admission is by donation with the proceeds going back into the community. The Legislative Building is the home to the Legislative Assembly of New Brunswick. Guided visits must be arranged in advance. For art lovers, there's the option of visiting the Beaverbrook Art Gallery. This gallery features the work of both Canadian and international artists. The nice thing about Fredericton is that you're never too far away from nature. The city has many walking trails and biking paths that are easily accessible, and that means people spend a lot of time outdoors. Gallery 78 is the oldest private art gallery in New Brunswick and it hosts exhibitions throughout the year. The Lighthouse on the Green stands on the banks of the St. John River. Though it once helped guide fishermen to shore, today the Lighthouse is a popular restaurant where you can enjoy some seafood or even cool down with an ice cream. This former jail turned science center is a fun place for children and families. Right now I'm visiting one of my favorite parts of Fredericton, the University of New Brunswick campus. And this campus is very historic and old. It was actually founded in 1785 before Canada was even a nation. The University of New Brunswick and St. Thomas University have a shared campus with beautiful grounds. Even if you're not a student, the campus is worth a visit. If you're looking to catch a performance, then head down to the Playhouse. They host all sorts of music, dance and theatre productions.
And that's a little glimpse of Fredericton. We really enjoyed our summer visit to the city and we hope you'll have the chance to check it out too. For more food and travel videos, hit subscribe.